Hello! What does music mean for a tabletop role-playing game? And what has Sirenscape done for the Rime of the Frost Maiden adventure? It's actually a little bit more complicated than you might think. There's rich, randomized ways to combine music elements to create uh, a continually varied and always fresh, yet somehow deeply familiar, uh, <laughs> experience for tabletop role-playing games. I'm going to give you a deep dive into the music for The Rime of the Frost Maiden. Come with me. I recommend sticking on headphones. Here we have our Frost Maiden main theme. The sea, da, 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 da. Becomes a light motif, one that will return multiple times through the adventure, bonding all the musical experience together. There are actually three fully orchestrated versions of this main theme plus a a cappella choir version and a solo piano version, each with different coloration. This one climaxes in a major way, and it's not really appropriate for tabletop role playing over the top of. So there's a chilled version as well, and then a dark version for later on in the adventure. You'll hear this one's about to explode in epicness. It's kind of a roll credits experience. Here we go. All right, this up there is just a single track, once much like you get on a movie soundtrack CD. None of the other music I'm going to show you here that's in this sound set is like this. Awesome. So let's look at East Haven. The next thing I'm going to show you is how we combine little musical fragments with many, many samples to create ever varied and randomized music. And then after that, I'm going to show you some of the combat music and how we do that to keep it fresh as well. All right. Cauldron Caves. Look what happens when I start this mood. So here's some of those environmental sounds. Crackling ice, etc mooning winds to glue it all together but these three musical elements are all playing see this one here has many many 19 different things it can play and it plays them in a random order with random timing this one here has seven different things this one has eight different things it can play and it's randomly choosing those we can also combine them with other musical elements but let me oh that sounds cool let me play just some individual samples so here's ice right this is our bass line so that's the bass line it's choosing to play at this time then we have water which are these kind of interesting scrape sounds I'll play number two over the top of that with microtonal elements and that was it that was all it played it's going to time out so if I start that element it will choose a random sample all the way down the bottom there. My chair, my chair. Same with steam. Let's play this element, see what it does. We also have more of them. What about this one here? There we are, some chords. So as we do the sound designing Sirenscape, depending on the mood we're trying to create and the way we're trying to push the players psychologically, we choose different ones of these elements and can we, we combine them in different ways. Here we are, here's another kind of thing. Ah, so here's another sort of baseline we can choose. Cool, huh? And if you think about probability and variation, once you add in a seventh element, 
which is just made of gongs to play occasionally. You can imagine that these combine in many, many, many different ways. And we have a final element to add on top, which is just uh, piano tinkly notes. And occasionally that Frost Maiden theme that I played you before, every now and then, like literally once every half hour or so, will play. And that light motif will catch the ear, except it's recontextualized in a spooky way. It doesn't feel epic anymore. And will bring the player's emotional ear back to the core of the adventure. Okay, so that's the way we do our uh, environmental sounds. So individual short samples, fragments of music uh, combined and laid in randomized ways. I'm going to look at this combat element. No, not so this one over here. See, this one is made of, here we are. Okay, 70 second samples, 70 second samples, which crossfade beautifully. Now the main full out actual combat theme is this one here. So it has four layers. You can hear the percussion, crashing cymbals and drums, it has winds. There's a, a string going to And also a horn line, which you can hear in there. And that's the old version of it. There's then a version that was just strings, there's a percussion solo version, there's just the strings and horns. You can hear the way it ends, listen to this. Okay, so that fades out. Let's stop all those other sounds. Now let's see what happens when we actually start this. Now this would normally be started as a part of combat, so there'd be ching ching ching, all that sort of stuff going on at the moment. But we're just going to start the music. Sirenscape's going to randomly choose. Cool. So the first thing it's chosen is a percussion break. So this doesn't have any harmonic instruments. It's important uh, when you're listening to music to have a balance between repetition and variation. We want to be able to hear the familiar and know where we are and be able to hum along. Da -ba -da -ba -da, -da, and hear the familiar harmony. But after we've heard that stuff for a while, we want to have a refresh, a splash of sparkling mineral water between uh, wine tastings to clear the palate. And in fact, make us desire to hear that familiar, uh, those familiar harmonies and textures again. So let's see what choice what random choice sirenscape makes next and also listen to the way that the tracks are crossfaded so this track here will keep playing after it starts playing this one so it's about to start the next one watching okay here we are thin breaks the percussion those percussion elements are still fading out and then stop cool so this is quite a different texture there to either of those. Rich and fresh again. And we'll give, um, I'm using this one because this is some of the shortest. It's only 70 seconds long, as you can see from this one here. Usually our music tracks are, yeah, 230 seconds long or so. Sirenscape's going to randomly ch choose its way through all of these samples uh, in a shuffled order, different every time. And it won't play any of them again until it's played all of them, just like a just like a playlist on shuffle. Okay, it's got a few seconds to go. Let's see what it's going to choose next. Strings and horns. There we are. Now remember that theme from before? There's those horns. The percussion's going again. The strings are going. Dun, 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 dun. But those winds are missing this time. It's not going. So it's familiar, but different. Enough different to be fresh, but familiar enough to sound like we're listening to something that's, um, you know, something we recognize and enjoy. Cool! And Sirenscape will go on and on, never stopping until the combat stops, the triggering spell sounds, the monsters are roaring. 
There's also in the sunsets uh, multiple other things. There's uh, tavern music of two different flavors. A jolly chilled one. Is it going to go again? Oh! It's something completely different. A bridge passage with the same, same winds that were going before, but now they're playing a different, um, a different texture. Staccato unison notes. Anyway, I'm going, there's a little look. Ask questions in the comments, wherever they are, depending on what platform you're watching this on. Jump on the forums and discuss. You can do this sort of stuff yourself, especially those synthesized fragments uh, elements which then get combined in random ways, you know, really find a really cool synthesizer and just hold a single chord and do, you know, 27 of those different chords. Uh, find a bass line, which is simple and short. Find some little twinkly piano bits and then let Sirenscape do the combinations for you. I'm going to fade myself out. You can list, you can watch this element play for just a little bit longer. What's it going to do? What's it going to do? Ooh. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> cool. There you go. I'm looking very forward to having the Rhyme of the Frost Maiden content out for you. Thank you, of course, as always, to our support from our subscribers. Uh, game on. Game on noisy. Game on hard. Game on fun. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> See you later.